I used to get the train every single day. And after the train, there would be a 15 minute walk with whoever I was with to college. This was a route that I took every single morning. And on the train, I was always with the same group of people, friends from secondary school before I went to college. But they started moving on and meeting new other people. More, more people, bigger groups. And every time we walked together, there would always be other people, newer people. And I could tell I was an introverted person at the time because I always kind of walked to the back. Or if I didn't and I was next to someone, I would never say anything. Just kind of was there, but not really participating. And I always felt as if that I was shy, unconfident. But weirdly enough, I've come to realize that as an introvert, you can be confident. Well, you actually already are confident, you just like something different, and it's known as this silent confidence, dark confidence. And that's basically just you enjoying your alone time. You are okay with being alone, so this sort of silent confidence. However, it doesn't change the fact that I still felt uncomfortable and unconfident. So, here is how in just three steps, you can become more confident as an introvert. A skill. Level up a type of skill, it can be in anything, so much to the point that you are really, really good in it, so you have confidence in it. In a certain skill, it could be anything, it could be skateboarding, guitar, pianos, tennis, football, martial art, it could be anything, but just level up in a certain type of skill, something that you would really enjoy, and something that you're good at, something that you can have confidence in about yourself. And first of all, that's a great way to practice having just a little bit more confidence in yourself, by having confidence in a skill of something that you are good at, something that you put in the hard effort and time to get good. And the great thing about this is that you don't really need to tell others about it. Say, for example, I leveled up in martial arts, right? I used to do a lot of different types of martial arts. I used to do karate, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So when I did get good in both of these, I had a set of confidence in myself that, okay, you know how to fight. That's great. But I never told anyone. I When I walked down the street... Never really needed to. If there was anyone causing a problem, like anyone who's causing a scene unnecessarily, super angry for like no reason, I knew that like, okay, if this goes any further, I can deal with it, but I don't need to right now. And it gives you a sort of like an unwavering confidence in yourself when you have a skill that you've leveled up in. And yeah, you don't need to go around telling everyone because that's also kind of dickish, <laughs> like, I don't go around, like, oh, voice crack, I don't go around, like, telling everyone that, ah, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a YouTuber, subscribe, like, anyone on the street, like, ah, follow my stuff, obviously, because that would be weird, and the moment I say that, that people probably wouldn't want to do that, when people find my channel, they just stumble across it by themselves on YouTube, you don't have to speak, Sometimes when people are in a social environment and if you're an introvert and you want to be more confident, sometimes you feel like that you must speak. You must always be saying something. You must always be participating to the group because awkward silences are awkward. But if you have two different people, one person who is always constantly yapping, always talking, not really participating and saying anything useful, but he's always yapping, right? Compared to someone who talks when he needs to, but he listens. Which one comes off as more confident? The guy who is listening, he appears more confident, more laid back, that he doesn't need to yap all the time, but when he does, he says something meaningful. And the good thing is that people like listeners. People love, people love to talk about themselves. And because of this, they love anyone who is willing to listen. You might find, just as yourself, someone who is introverted, someone who listens a lot, that people already like you. You may not feel like it, but you'd be surprised. People like listeners. You don't have to always be talking. You can just say things when it's needed and take your time. But the thing is, like, I think the reason like we do this is because of that awkward silence. We 
hate the feeling of this awkward silence, but the only reason it's awkward is because we're branding as it as awkward. You have some friends that you can spend time with, which you guys could be dead quiet, and it wouldn't be awkward at all, because you both aren't branding it as an awkward silence. You're just enjoying the silence, and you're enjoying your time together. It's the same thing, just do it with other people. I quite like that one, because I... I feel like a lot of people feel like they have to say something, and it's okay, you don't need to, it's alright. You, you you can listen to other people, you don't have to be speaking all the time. It is not awkward to have a quiet moment. People don't care. You see, I have come to realise that one of the biggest problems being an introvert was the fact that I was always constantly thinking about how others perceived me, how others looked at me, whether I was being talked about, whether I was being judged. And not only that, me being shy at the same time. This was something that was always on my mind, and the more I thought about it, the more unconfident, the more shy I became. And it really dawned on my mind quite a bit. And then I kind of learn something from a friend recently is the fact that people don't really care not in a mean way or i don't want to sound like an asshole or anything like not in a mean way but people don't really care because they're worried about the same things just about themselves most people are worried about them they're worried about themselves they're not really worried about you as much they're worried about how people look at them you're both in the same boat everyone's not really looking at you because they're worried about how people are looking at them. So, bearing this in mind, just be you, man. You don't need to worry as much as you currently do now. Just be yourself. And the best thing, I know that was the three things that I've already talked about, but as a little bonus, the best thing is literally just practice. Like, the best way to get better in social environments is to practice in social environments. That's the, the, I mean, that kind of makes sense, right? And it literally does just come down to that. The more time you spend out in social environments, the more confident you become. So, just step, take a step out of your comfort zone and try and expose yourself to more social environments more often than not. You'll find that over time that you do get better and you do get more confident. It's fine, you can take your time. Any step in improving is still a step in the right direction. I hope things have been good. Uh, our video is going to pop in the corner. You can click on it if you like it. It may help you out too. And, you know, you can subscribe if you want to as well. Stay consistent and don't give up. Aight. Come here. Sun Brugis. Mwah.